Hey there, welcome to the Lucy Marie channel. Welcome to Damn Near Everyday Love Readings. If you weren't here yesterday, I was. If you were here tomorrow, I will also be there tomorrow. Every day, damn near every day, we have a reading. And today's reading is on online dating. Okay, do you want to go on the apps? Are you thinking about it? Are you mulling it over? Yes or no? Should you? Shouldn't you? What's the guidance there for you? Should you go back? Should you leave it? Maybe. I don't know. This is a pile one, pile two, pile three, white stone, citrine, rose. There's amethyst here. This is yellow stone. This is pink stones. This is white stones. Pile three. It one, two, three. Timestamps are in the description box below. Um... That's all I have for you. Bye. Hey there, pal two. Hey there, Citrine Stone. Hey there, hey there. Should you join the dating apps? Should you get on there? Yes or no? -er? We have the Ace of Swords. Okay. We have the King of Coins. We have the Death in Reverse. Um... No, I think, I don't know if you're avoiding something that spirit is sort of saying, hey, you should um, deal with that first. Perhaps the online dating, the apps it is a distraction and perhaps you're not fully ready for being on them. And it's almost like first deal with what you need to deal with. Finish what you need to finish. Put something to bed before you try to start something new and start new energies and including new people or new vibes and new you know pathways into your life finish that first um there is somebody i think i don't think you're stable enough yet in your psyche to really be handling other people at this particular moment in time um on the apps or or whatever it could be that there's someone tied to you still someone that you're still uh holding on to someone that you're still sort of thinking about what have you in your psyche in your love space so that is what's coming up here i think there's there's a call here for you to be honest and true to yourself um i think you you are uh, I think your inkling and desire to be out there to be on the apps that dating or to be dating is good right if i was to give it a judgment it's a good thing to want that for yourself and to want that etc period but there are some things that you still need to sort of figure out first before you actually bring yourself forward in that space okay um if you want you can if you know what those things are um you can re-ask that question and re-pick a pile at random right roll a dice see what number it falls on and maybe that's the reading that's the reading then you can get that answer if it comes back to this reading or another no listen to what that reading has to say and keep doing that like keep checking in with this reading um to see if spirit <laughs> Obviously, you know, don't use the readings to dictate your life, et cetera, et cetera. But like, if you are looking for to, to gauge where you're at or what feels right to you, feel free to use this video for that. Um, let's get you some guidance though to see what spirit would want you to do. Like what may be the best here. And we have exchanging gifts. So this was almost in the upright. Um, I mean, in the reverse. And exchanging gifts is... If you're a member of the channel then and you watched um, some of my personal pulls for myself, you know how I feel about this card <laughs> uh, and this energy. But um, yeah, this exchanging gifts is in the reverse, an energy of like paying the piper, right? It's an energy of, hey, you wanted this. Are you ready to do what needs to be done to have this? Are you ready to put yourself into this? Which I think, um, no, right? Like you're not uh, to some degree. And that's a message that's coming through for you here. A message that is saying, you're not ready to pay the price 
or to put your best foot forward in a way that it needs to be put in. And this isn't necessarily about a service level best foot of being positive and et cetera, et cetera. No, like sometimes you have, like, it's about being real. The Ace of Swords is here. Like for you, it's about being real with yourself and what you want and your desires. So perhaps you don't have those. Perhaps those aren't in place in a way that they need to be uh, firm in you with the King of Coins in reverse. Um, enough for you to handle or whatever welcome the online dating space energies um but however anyway your guidance with exchanging gifts is beautiful right it's exchanging energies with different people it's exchanging it's giving and receiving it's being in the energies oh, boy. <laughs> your girl is tired listen who's keeping me company during this <laughs> multiple days full month long days of readings because i'm tired there are moments in relationship when you just feel good about who you're with and know that your heart is wide open to befriend to love to care this is the kind of happy that you just want to share the appearance of this card in a reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now not somewhere else off in the future the grass is greenest right where you stand be grateful and delight in your relationship. And if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of it to itself like bees to honey, right? This is giving uh, credence back to that energy of distraction that I was getting in the beginning. I don't know if I said it, but wanting to distract yourself with online dating and not really wanting the dating of it all, but wanting the partner of it all. And just in a way that isn't helpful. I'm very familiar with this energy. <laughs> Um, so I think for you, it's getting happy with yourself first. Obviously, yes, oh my God, go find a partner, etc. Nobody's saying be happy alone forever, but there is a moment where you want to share your life and not have someone be your life, you know, where they provide the entertainment or, um, what have you like when you're happy in yourself to some degree there's an energy that you bring to other people there's an energy that you then also put out there into the world that comes back to you so get into the kind of energy that you would want someone else to give to you before right now like that's your that should be your focus pleasing yourself knowing what pleases you feeling good about yourself um and when you're in a place that it clicks and then you'll be ready to online date if you even need to go online to date right you may meet somebody just because of your effervescent energy um i wish you everything my friend keep your light on good luck and i'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow see you tomorrow because i was here yesterday I'm here today. I'm going to be here tomorrow because damn near every day. Love readings. <laughs> Leave your requests in the description box below. And if you'd like a private reading, please feel free to come through as well. The information is in the description box below. I wish you everything. Keep your light on. Bye-bye. Hey there, Pal 3. Hey there, Pal 3. Pal White Stone. How are you? Welcome to your dating apps should you get on the dating apps should you start online dating um should you get back on this is your yes sir no reading wow uh the answer here is the world in reverse the wheel of fortune in reverse and the five of swords looks like the seven but it's not Should you go back to online dating? Should you get online dating at this particular moment in time? Um, it's looking like a no, but I'm picking up on... I want two more cards, okay? You have some unfinished business. You have something that needs to be closed first, something that needs to be attended to. Um, it's a pretty big thing before you get on there. Now, it almost feels like this is like, oh man, I don't know how to say this, a personal, um, I don't know if it's a personal flaw or it's a way that you see the world 
or you want to speed up time um i don't know if this is a you thing like there's some type of habit or behavior that you have that needs to be dealt with first and then you can see how you feel about online dating at that particular point in time that's what i'm getting like i'm, I'm getting like either like a negative attitude or some type of like behavioral something that like you really need to like check yourself for um, moving away from that energy, which I really don't want to. I feel like there's really something there, but moving away from it. This could be also that time is not now. It's not time right now for you to get on there, but the time could eventually come. Okay. Um, the extra cards to help me sort of read this energy and flesh it out more for you is the six of wands in the reverse oh i thought that was swords and the ten of coins so if you were to go online right now you wouldn't find anybody or anything worthwhile for you um uh yeah and i think that's just because generally the general energy around you in your youth sphere is no dating. Okay? Um, that may be hard to hear, yes. And that sucks to hear, yes. But it can also be freeing to hear that it's just not going to happen right now in this particular time. Okay? Um, for some of you, December may be a better month, okay? December may be a better month, um, depending on when you're watching this. If you're watching this before December, like a few months before December, then that's when that message is relevant. If you're watching this at a different time of the day, of year, like early, like it's January and you're like, December just passed, or it's like a whole May and you're like, December! I would still sort of maybe take that into account depending on what's going on. But December is just a throwaway. But it's also not. But, it, you know, it just seems like I don't think you'll be finding um, what exactly you're looking for or open to in the now times. December, honestly, is really speaking to me right now um, because of the things that are stalling your situation okay there are some things that are stalling this some of it is attitude either there's like an attitude problem or something that needs to be checked about how you view things how you see life how you perceive things and that's just not going to work out in such an environment such as the online dating space for whatever reason and also there's an energy here and or and of just the time not being right for you to be finding anybody worthwhile um, on the apps or maybe even in real life. Uh, so that sort of not being a good place for you to be online because it may, if you have an attitude or a behavior or a perception, that, that not working out online may just further that perception that you have which is not a helpful perception, or it may feed a perception that you have, which isn't a helpful perception to have. You feel me? Um, Ten of Coins is really interesting here. Not only is it giving me sort of meeting someone more long-term in quite possibly December or just down the line. Um, if you're like loose, I'm really more so looking to play and da, 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 da. I think, I don't know, baby girl, I call everybody girl. I call everybody girl. I don't know if that is super helpful for you right now. <laughs> I don't think it's super helpful for you right now. Um, I don't think you're going to find something that makes sense for you. But there is something that seems to be calling to you to first close that chapter before you get right back get back 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 beep boop boop back back get back on the apps or get on the apps okay with the world here there's almost like a graduation there's almost like um getting things in order 
um, uh, tying loose ends, um, finishing a project or finishing, um, you know, focusing on something else. Um, and dating apps would maybe take away the time and energy that you would be needing to dedicate to the closing of that uh, legacy chapter, something in your world that needs to be closed. Okay, or you focusing on that thing will take away from the amount of focus and energy that you give dating. But it honestly just feels like you're not going to find anything right now that's going to be of full on value to you. I'm shuffling over here for your guidance. Um, the fates in reverse. Wow. Listen, your guidance is the fates in reverse. Um, if you're new here, I want you to know that spirit lives in the house of Lumiere. Okay. And spirit is also prime citizen of the illumination. The fates is here. The fates is it's just not the right time. And I think this is nice to know if you don't have an attitude problem or if your perception isn't, you know, whatever. If you're like, Luz, please, I am okay. Like back off my attitude. Um, it could just be something isn't cooked in you yet. Something isn't cooked in you yet. Something isn't cooked in who you need to be meeting and the energy that you need to be. And I know this energy intimately <laughs> um, because sometimes it really is different vibes that you're doing the same thing in. But because the energy is different, it really is different. It presents differently. So with the fates, I think for some of you, you just need to hear that. <laughs> Sorry about the whole attitude thing, but I think there is something about an attitude. It may not be a bad attitude. It you just be that the vibe that you're in is not conducive to it because maybe you just need to be focused on something else or somewhere else, okay? But with the fates here, it's 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 kind of telling me that it's not you, right? For you watching, like it's not you. It's not that you're wrong or you're entirely broken or whatever the case may be. It's just literally not the season right the bible talks about seasons every sort of religion islam or even hinduism or whomever every sort of like path of life talks about seasons of life fucking the world talks about seasons of life when you just look at the trees that change um and the weather changes like there are seasons of life when it rains seasons of life when it snows seasons of life in nature so why would there not be seasons of that in our own lives and energies and you are told here with the guidance of the fates in reverse and protection is saying baby girl i'll call everybody girl it's just not the right time and that's something that you may need to know and seek and find comfort in i don't usually don't like the fates in reverse like it usually gives me the hebe of all gbs okay it's difficult to understand why painful things happen to good people. Fate is a mystery after all. Yet what we do... Oh my god. <laughs> Yet what we do, 1818. Yet what we do with our circumstances, the way in which we respond to life's challenges, is how we rise up to greet our destiny. Now is one of those times to be aware of your powerlessness to change certain situations and surrender to acceptance. Hang in there. Life will only get better. Act as if you believe that for the only thing you can control right now is your attitude. When you align with the fates, being mindful of what you can and cannot change, serenity will come to you. And I think that's what I'm saying. Like, just there's there's an upset to some when you want love, but it's not there. And to be told that this just isn't the right time. I bet you a week later you go, what about now? Is now the right time? Because I've been there, right? Like, we've all been there to some degree. Um, but there is a freedom in knowing that it's not the right time. Because, quite frankly, that just lets you know when the time comes, the time will come. And when the time comes, the thing that you want will come. And it's, if, if there's a season of rain, there's gonna be a season of, you know, growth, right? If there's a night, there's going to be a day. So... There is a promise of something coming in the future, but now is just not that time. All right. I wish you everything. If you'd like a personal reading to figure out like what you have to do or what you can do to make this move faster, if at all, or what you can do really to best, how to best use your time right now, your waiting time, your lag time wisely to manifest and bring in a partner that makes sense because you're making more sense. 
please feel free to come through for a reading for that. I think that would be a very beautiful reading and um, more constructive than anything else at this time, to be honest with you. Okay, so I wish you everything. Keep your light on and good luck. And I will see you next time, as in tomorrow, because I'm going to be here tomorrow. And I was here yesterday. Bye. <laughs> Hey there, Pile Rose Quartz. How are you? Pile one. Um, should you go on the dating apps? Should you go on the online dating? Um, should you go back on there? <laughs> uh, and I knew this one would be the one. Look, listen, this is the rightful path. The Rose Quartz, baby. Um, should you go on there? Uh, should you try it out? Should you go back on there? Should you stay on there? You have the devil coming out hot. And you have the two of cups coming out cute. And you have the four of cups coming out mediocre. <laughs> um, yes, oh my God. Pow three, pow one. <laughs> pow one, rose quartz, amethysts, babes. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you are invited and given green light to go on online dating, to stay on online dating, to, um, uh, do all that. It's a thumbs up on the online dating. Okay. Uh, the devil here is cute. Even the Four of Cups here is cute. The Two of Cups is just really spreading its quiet cuteness. Um, Two of Cups is absolutely... I love this pile. Did I tell you? Like, you know what, guys? Like, it's, it's things like this that just make me want to pause and just revel in the fact that Spirit is so here and so present because this is literally a reading about connecting and finding a partner on, online, someone who you're passionate about, someone who's passionate about you, someone who you see eye to eye, someone who maybe you're obsessed with each other, someone who, you know, the, the energy is mutual, you're tied to it, you're connected to it, the, the sexual chemistry and energy is there, the emotional chemistry and energy is there, and it, it's here, two of cups, the devil, like, please. And I like the Four of Cups. I do because there's a level of indifference. Hello? Like, please. The Four of Cups is um, more obsessive than the devil. And the, well, the devil, well, you know. <laughs> anyway, the Four of Cups is more obsessive than the devil. But the Four of Cups has this energy of, yes, there's going to be options. Okay? Yes, there's going to be. Hello? I got to get so dark. It, there's going to be options, right? There's going to be um, people that make sense. There's going to be people that don't make sense. There's going to be so many options swirling around this person and it's going to suck and it's going to be like annoying and like that's just how it is. Like not everybody is for you and there's going to be near misses. There's going to be miscommunications. There's going to be people that come at you crazy there's gonna be people that you come at crazy there's gonna be people that trigger you there's gonna be people that you trigger there's gonna be things that you don't like to see there's gonna be trials and tribulations and you're gonna be like damn son is anything even worth it like what or this is how you've been feeling or how you used to feel and you're like do i get back on it do i jump back on it and i mean the two of cups the two of cups. Ah. <laughs> I don't see the two of cups often. <laughs> and even when I do, I'm just kind of like, all right. But the two of cups is here, right? Meeting somebody through the forest, you know, who you connect with, who connects with you. Someone who's excited about you. Someone who's, dare I say, obsessed with you. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> whoops. A little bit of whoops. Um, someone who checks up on you, someone who you are a little bit obsessed with, someone who it's exciting and fiery times and the sexual chemistry is there. Sexual chemistry is like a real thing in this deck, in this, in this reading, like the sexual chemistry is there. Um, and maybe this is something that you've been wanting, right? A connection and 
a connection. <laughs> uh, right? I love that the Two of Cups is here, especially with the Four of Cups. Like, the Four of Cups is also sort of a little bit of advice. We're going to pull your advice, like, now. But the Four of Cups is also this energy of having a little bit of detachment having some detachment from the process and not putting anybody on too big of a pedestal or putting yourself on a stoop, right? You lowering yourself or putting yourself to like practicing that humility and also exalting yourself because hello, you're a bad bitch. Um, or presenting yourself well and looking at people and, and looking at things like there's, there's a level of detachment that I'm getting from the four of cups that is so healthy to have when you are on these online platforms on these apps you need to have a certain level of detachment this isn't being a dick to people this is not you know looking at somebody uh swiping yes on them and going this is going to be the one i am it could be um but it's 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 having an even keeled uh perspective but still you know having a little i am going to clarify this devil though <laughs> Spirit, what you talking? Wow, it even folded. The four of coins. Okay. Capricorn energy. <laughs> oh. The moon is the same bear. Moon in reverse. And the ace of swords. I love the ace of swords in this deck. It's really cute. Um, I think this is about honest, honesty with the Ace of Swords to me. It's about being honest with yourself. Uh, it's getting to advice, but I think the nice thing about the connection that I'm getting from this devil, which truly, I, the devil is the only one about that talks about connection, guys. Let's, let's be honest. It's the only major arcana that talks about connection. Like, talk to me about it. Where are there, where else are you committed to something like that? Okay. <laughs> Not even the lovers, okay? The lovers is a choice. It's about choice. The devil is about commitment, addiction, okay? You're stuck. Not really. Yeah, but it that's the card for it, please. Um, but the devil being clarified by the four of coins, yeah, that's being grounded. Earth energy there. This is Capricorn um, heavy. Uh, but earth energy this is a grounded energy this is somebody who is grounded um an energy of a grounded did i i keep saying ground like this that's literally like my mouth is like that's not something you've said but i've said it seven times um with the moon in reverse even that ho like yo <laughs> the moon in reverse is great i love that <laughs> like bye bye uh not knowing what's happening i think this connection that you find on the platform is going to be somebody who you actually click with not someone who you have to go well maybe i need to no you actually click with and that's where i'm getting the ace of swords from right this devil energy is just an example of how very clear a uh, very clear it's going to be with the both of you hallelujah alhamdulillah of where both of you are connecting a period at the same level you know you're it's not this thing of i don't know are we aren't we like what do they like me do they not no you will see it in their eyes and they will see it in your eyes it'll be a mutual copacetic attraction and connection and i quite frankly love that for you It won't be hidden. It'll be like, this is what we're doing and we're doing it together. I love this. I love this. It'll be honest and true. And, and I think another thing that I really have to say is this. There will be sexual chemistry. And that there will be a physical attraction on both ends. Both your eyes will dilate. As in your sets of eyes and their sets of eyes will dilate when you look at each other. It'll be undeniable that there is a physical attraction. And I think for some of you, you need to hear that because if you're out here playing okie doke games of going on endless dates with people who you're not actually attracted to or interested in after date two, baby, or even three, three is pushing it. After date two, if you know that you're not getting any kind of like 
from this person or this dynamic like you know like don't lie to yourself like really honestly like let's be honest to ourselves you know? like let's be honest please so that's what i'm seeing here it'll be mutual it'll be mutual i think one of you will be more bullheaded about it for sure taurus energy we got a lot of earth energy here um one of you will be more bullheaded about it some of someone might be a taurus they or you or have a taurus in the and in, in, in a sign either like a communication or i don't know seventh house whatever because someone here is dogged about what they want right like if you want to talk obsession let's talk about taurus <laughs> please um <laughs> <laughs> that stubbornness man like they the bull will get what the bull wants come hell or high water all right friend let's pull your guidance on this <laughs> we have observer um Observer and the protection, because this kind of came up sideways a little bit. Observer and protection is an energy that talks about not feeling like, is, that, is this the one? Not feeling that you have your life option suction cup to your face. So be open, right? Like be open, but also have a balance between what you want and being open so be open enough to see if you can see what you want but don't be so open that you're over you're bulldozing and overriding what it is that you do want from a partner um okay yeah so that's that in the reverse in the upright uh this is really grounding the energy of this reading because i want to say that this person could be your person you know with the with the with the bull here with the with the with the devil here and that like connection and the clink clink but i think observer comes to say in your guidance that hey temper yourself okay it's like still i guess Luz lemire has said someone's there someone's there for me i will meet somebody on there and it'll be it'll be cool to be copacetic it'll be mutual that's beautiful but also, also, um, I should still chill a little bit. I should, I shouldn't jump the gun. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees. Ah! Oh, you guys, stop it. Spirit lives in the house of Lemire. Spirit, spirit dwells in the illumination. I said, you can't see the forest for the trees, but you've seen them, right? I said that whole statement. Literally, the relationship message of Observer in the Wisdom of the Oracle deck states, as I quote, Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Okay. Feelings get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Oh, yeah, the devil, that too. <laughs> the toxicity of the devil, that's a thing. Anyway, take time out before you react. That'll be wise for you to do, okay? Because you both may have to go through. And that's a kind of a beautiful thing still about the devil, where if you two still when you meet with this person there may be some misunderstandings thank you spirit there may be and will be misunderstandings between the two of you of oh you said this oh you said that i did this da, 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 da. and i think your ability to emotionally connect with each other through the conversations of figuring out what this person is actually saying and meaning and you figuring it out and them figuring you out that's going to be a really beautiful thing that sort of bonds you guys together even closer um, or the people that you meet online, right? You sort of having this dance and seeing who rises to the top to sort of have these conversations. It'll be helpful. Um, that's beautiful. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. 
you will find things much improved sooner than you know. So that's for you for when you do start meeting people. Take an observer perspective. And I like that that harkens back to the Four of Cups of having a healthy detachment and a healthy uh, from what's happening, what's being said, but still being involved enough to connect. Um, it's a dance. It's, it, it genuinely is a dance. If you would like a personal reading for like your personal sort of like journey or your advice and guidance from spirit for how best you can approach online dating or your, your romantic life, period, if you have met somebody already and you're like, I think da 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 I just need to tune up to just have spirit let me know, am I out of pocket? Am I in pocket? Am I the pocket? I don't know. Um, feel free to come through for a reading. Otherwise, I'll see you when I go live and I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow because I was here yesterday and I'm here tomorrow as well for a damn near everyday Libra love readings for the month of October. Timeless. Uh, I will see you next time. Okay. Keep your light on. Good luck. Bye.